Okay, guys, in this episode, I'm going to give the gener generic description of mechanism design. All right. Um, so what does that mean? That means this description can be uh, applied to any uh, mechanism design problem that you can think of. I, I, will, I will give some examples later. So, well, first off, we look at a uh, finite number of individuals or players, okay? We use the notation capital N to describe the set of individuals, one, two, all the way up to N. So obviously N is greater than or equal to two. And a standard uh, a number, I'm sorry, standard uh, description of a player is gonna be I, J, or K. Uh, which is in N, all right? So we define decisions. Uh, you can think of decision as decisions as kind of alternatives later, all right? Uh, I'll, I'll be more specific about it. So decisions uh, are denoted, the set of all potential social decisions are denoted by the capital D, all right? So the D is the possible, all possible decisions, social decisions. Well, a generic element of capital D is D, D prime, all right? Uh, depending on the application, D can be finite, it can be infinite. All right, preferences and information. All right, remember, the input of our mechanisms are always private information. So we assume that the individuals do have private information. Well, how do we represent private information? Well, an individual I's private information is represented by his type as in the case of uh, Bayesian games. So here's the notation we're gonna use. This is the type of individual i, denoted by theta i, okay? Theta i is element of uh, capital. So this is small theta, this is capital theta, all right? So capital theta i is the set of all types of player i, and small theta i is just one possible type of individual i. Well. Theta, if there's no subscript i, well, it is basically a profile of types. Theta 1, theta 2, up to theta n. So this is a, a vector of n dimension. Well, it's an element of capital theta. So again, uh, this is capital theta. We drop subscript i, which means profile of types, which is nothing but a Cartesian product of n individuals' uh, type spaces. Well, what's next? Well, we assume that agents have preferences over decisions depending on their types. So therefore, a utility function of individual i, which is gonna be denoted by v of i, you'll see why I don't use u later. So v of i is, uh, it depends on two things. One, the decision, and the other is the type of the player I. And so for any decision and type uh, of player I, it's gonna just assign a real value, a real number. So VID theta I greater than VID prime theta I means individual I prefers decision D over D prime, given that his type is theta I, okay? Um, so here, an important the, the, uh, sort of point is that we assume that player I's utility doesn't depend on other players' types. Uh, in some environments, player I's utility may depend not only on his type, but also on the other's type, okay? So it's possible, but the thing is we're gonna ignore this. And so we're gonna only look at uh, individual's preferences depend only on his or her own type, okay? Well, then the next thing that we should clarify is decision rules. Well, decision rule is a function which maps each type profile into a decision, an element in D. So D is a function where the input is theta, a type profile, and it's just an element in D, okay? Uh, decision rule D is efficient if and only if this inequality holds for all type profiles and for any decision uh, D prime in the set of D. So what is this inequality? It basically says the following. The decision rule D 
uh, is going to maximize the total sum of the agent's utilities, right? So this is V i d theta theta i. This is the utility of individual i when his type is theta i and the decision is d theta. And we sum all the individual's utilities all the way from individual 1 to individual n. It maximizes because this sum should be greater than or equal to this sum where here the utility again uh, when the type uh, individual i's type is theta i the decision is different d prime so therefore the d is efficient it's a predo sense it's efficient it means it maximizes the sum of individuals uh, utilities uh, here this is by the way an ex post uh, later, when we especially talk about Bayesian uh, mechanism design, uh, ex post, ex ante uh, uh, sort of uh, efficiency, but this is an ex post uh, concept. Okay, so let's think of some applications we already learned and try to see how do they sort of how this uh, setting map into those applications. So think of voting environment, right? So in the voting environment, individuals are the voters. Uh, the decisions are actually the candidates. So each D, D prime is just a candidate because this is the decision, right? The voters are going to choose and elect one of the candidates. So the decisions are the set of candidates. Well, the preferences and the information. Well, the, prefer the information is basically uh, what each voter's true preference uh, over all alternatives or uh, candidates is. So this is what true, uh, I'm sorry, private information is. So theta i is actually represent a ranking over uh, potential social uh, decisions or candidates. Well, what about the utility? Well, utility here is you know how much utility you give to each candidate given your true preferences right? your preference ranking is going to determine how much utility you give to each candidate all right so once again well what about the decision rule in the voting uh, framework well the decision rule is a voting rule because the voting rule looks at the declared preferences and then selects one candidate right so therefore decision rule transforms into a voting rule in the voting uh, environment well uh, therefore a uh, voting rule or decision rule is efficient if and only if there is no other voting rule where the candidates can actually you know uh, how, how can I say it? Well, the, the no candidate, I'm sorry, not candidate, no voter can be better off without hurting another voter. All right, so this is a standard efficiency of uh, a voting rule. Uh, well, there's no transfer. I did not talk about transfer. Well, the reason is in the voting environment, there's no transferable utility, right? There's a candidate uh, and, you know, once a candidate is elected, we all consume this candidate in a sense. So we all derive utility out of this same candidate and the utilities are not transferable in this environment. Okay, what about this is, uh, what if this is a matching environment like school, uh, college uh, admission problem? Well, in this case, the set of potential social decisions is which student will be placed in what university. So matching. So each potential matching is in fact a social decision. Preferences and information. Well, again, type of individual I. Well, once again, we have uh, N who. The individuals are schools and uh, colleges, if, if this is you know, uh, a college admission problem. Well, what is the type of uh, individual I? Well, if it is school, uh, the theta i is the true the ranking or the preferences over students. If i is a, a student, well, theta i is the ranking uh, over all colleges. Okay. Uh, well, the utility function again depends not only on the matching. Well, here obviously, remember the matching problem. I don't care about uh, how the other guys are matched. I only care about my own match. So you can say, if you like, vi is a function uh, of di cross uh, theta i. Uh, but you know, this is more general way of uh, the describing it. So this is not wrong description. 
So my utility or individual eyes utility depend on the matching and then the type, meaning how I rank, uh, if, if I is a student, how I rank the colleges. All right, so here, for example, again, this is in the matching problem, this is gonna be DI, right? I mean, uh, student I cares only about his matching. Uh, so D is better than D prime, means that matching D is better than matching D prime, given that his preference relation or his ranking out of colleges is given by theta I. Okay, but again, it's like uh, you can ignore this uh, subscript I, so it's not wrong. Well, what about the decision rule? Well, decision rule is a matching rule or matching algorithm. So the matching algorithm looks at declared preferences and then spills out a match, right? You know, which student will be matched with what college. So this is the decision rule. And again, the efficient decision rule is, well, we didn't have a cardinal preferences, we had ordinal preferences, but you can transfer not transfer. You, you, you can transfer this into cardinal world as well. Is like no individual, no student, and no college is going to be worse off uh, in this. Uh, I'm sorry. A, a mechanism or the matching D is efficient if there's no other matching uh, D prime where one individual gets better off without hurting anybody else. All right. So that's how we describe it. Um, all right. Well, what about our environment is auction, all right? Uh, so the individuals are the bidders who would like to uh, participate in this bidding or the auction. What is the decision? Well, decision is here simple, zero, one. It's like, uh, who's gonna win, who's gonna lose, all right? So my decision DI is gonna be zero if I lose, one if I win, okay? That as simple as this. Well, preferences and information, again, simple. Uh, type of uh, bidder I is how much he values the uh, bid. So V of uh, D theta I is if I win and given that my true valuation, how much I value uh, the good. And if D is zero, if I lose how much I value, usually it's gonna be zero if I lose, right? I get zero utility if I lose. And if I win, however, my valuation depends on my type. You see what I mean? Okay, well, what about the decision rule? Well, the decision rule is an auction. Uh, whether it's a first price auction, second price auction, third price auction, doesn't matter. An auction uh, looks at the declared uh, 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 types, all right? Uh, well, obviously, it's not a, a direct, well, the first price auction, for example, is not a direct mechanism in the sense that it just looks at the bids. All right, so here the bids are not really here. Um, so I sh maybe, um, well, this is more like a second price auction because the second price auction looks at the uh, valuations. All right, so the declared valuations and then spill out who wins and who loses. And again, uh, 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 and, and, and auction rules efficient, which basically means again, the same thing. But don't forget the following, in the auction environment, I'm sorry, in the matching environment, in the voting environment, the utilities were not transferable, right? Uh, however, in the auction environment, utilities are transferable. How so? Well, um, the individuals make payments. So for example, I, my decision may be zero, which means, uh, which translated into I lose the auction, so I pay nothing. However, if my decision is one, I win the auction, I need to make a payment, remember? So there's need to be a transfer from who to who? From me to the auctioneer or from me to in some other environments, in some other mechanism environments, the transfer can be made from one individual to another individual, all right? So for that reason, in some environments, there may be transfer because it's a transferable utility environment, like market environment, where the individuals can transfer utilities via money uh, with the price of good or with an exchange. So we call it transfer function. Transfer function looks at the type profile and then spills out a vector, an n-dimensional vector of reals. So ti theta, so this is not type, so T here is transfer. For that reason, we use theta for types. So Ti theta represents 
payment that individual I is going to receive based on the announcements uh, uh, of, of information theta. So TI theta can be positive, it, in, in which case it means this agent I or individual I is going to receive a sort of a utility or money. And TI theta could be negative, in which case he's actually making a payment. So in the auction environment, TI theta will always be negative, right? So if you win an object, you need to make a payment, for example. 